Hi there guys, Comrade here with iSkySoft Android Data Recovery, and today we're going to be looking at how to recover files or documents from a Samsung device. So the first thing you want to be doing is opening the software and then plug in your phone or tablet as either will work. So this is going to bring up the connecting screen, hopefully, although you will need to enable USB debugging. So the way to do that in Android 4.2 or above is to go settings, about phone, and then just tap the build number seven times. This, uh, as you can see, I've already done it. There's no way to undo that. So as you can see, I've already got USB debugging enabled and mock locations. I'm just gonna switch those off and turn off the developer options just to show you the prompts that you do get. So you get allow development settings, allow USB debuggings, and you might need allow mock locations for the software to do its job properly. So once that's all done, uh, please note this is for Android 4.2 and above and other methods are detailed in the software uh, when you plug it in if you can't get to USB debugging on your phone. So that's now fully connected and it brings up the types of files that I would like to recover. In this case, I'm just gonna select everything, although I could click on the select all and it would select none, and I would be able to go through and pick and choose what I would like. However, in this case on this phone, I'm just going to be taking all of the things there. So as you can see, contacts, messaging, call history, etc., are all there. Now, uh, to select a storage scanning mode, you either choose to scan for deleted files, scan for all files, or go to advanced mode if you are having some trouble getting through all the data. So in this case, I'm just going to choose to scan for all files as there aren't too many deleted files on the phone. Now you will get through this uh, information here as the phone begins to scan. So it analyzes the device, getting the device information completed, and it analyzes typically quite quickly, although depending on your device, it may take a little bit longer. Once this section is complete, uh, the software will move on to the actual scanning page, um, which can take a lot of time, depending again on the size of the storage that you have on the phone, as it does require um, several passes to scan for all the deleted data. So this is just continuing to analyze the device. Bear in mind this will work on almost every type of phone or tablet, and if it doesn't, the software will try and work its way through anyway. So I'm just gonna skip through most of this process uh, to save you guys the time, and I'll come back to you, there we go, with everything finished. So now that's all completed, let's find a way to get some of the documents off of our Samsung device. Now what we're going to be doing is just clicking on the Documents tab. Uh, we can choose to select everything with the checkbox at the top there. I'm just going to click that off. And okay, let's have a look. I have some HTM or HTML files and some zip files. So all I'm going to do is just select a number of those at random in order to uh, show you the process of recovering documents here from a Samsung device. So I'm just going to select at random and then click on the recover button in order to open the recover dialog box. Now I'm just going to browse there and save these for now just to my desktop for ease of access. Now that's going to save those in their own special folder with the documents, there we go, and there's different folders, HTM and zip folders there. And as you can see, the documents are all present and accounted for. I've been Comrade for iSkySoft Android Data Recovery. Thank you very much for watching. Speak to you next time.